It is November the 21st, 2016, and all the crazies are loose on our communities. They're all wearing the nuclear hats. This is from the files of shit you can't make up. You probably wouldn't want to. The president of the baseball and softball confederation, Ricardo Fakuri, has said that the Olympics are a go. As far as he's concerned, he's looking for a spot in the Fukushima prefecture for 2020 Olympics. And he said he scoffs at the idea that radiation is harmful. But he's just a baseball fanatic, not a radiation expert. Not that you need to be to understand that the radiation is harmful from a chain reaction. So why we got terrorist laws? Why we got nuclear waste sites? And so the Baseball Softball Federation, the World Baseball Softball Federation, has to get a new president in order now to try to rebuild their reputation. That has been destroyed. We will destroy it. If they don't. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Woo! That one got censored on YouTube along with my last stream. 203 views, top left hand corner. Now, that was stuck on 209 for several hours. 209. And then when it updated, it went to 203. Like the rest of my videos, look, Dana, bad, nuke lawyer is good. I have 20,000 subscribers. So do you think playing with my numbers, playing with my subscribers is bothering me or going to worry me or that I don't understand it or blah, 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 blah. These are like children, these people. They even find the documentation of the um, Fukushima expeditions up at the nuclearproctologist.org. This is the shit the nuclear scientists say. Episode six. And the next set of episodes will be the murders, the nuclear industry, the murders things the nuclear industry did. And there's not really a big difference. Little D was getting ready because he has to go to his probation officer, if that's what you want to call these people. Ninnies. And he's busy getting ready for that. It'll take him up. A little criminal, little troublemaker. We're supposed to be in court tomorrow. And that's canceled for some reason. Got to go in and see the lawyer to find out what the frig is going on. Walking in sunshine, more radiation, eating a banana, sleeping next to someone, radiation, climbing mountains. These are our, the misrepresentation you've been listening to for 70 years. And today, this is the loudest rhetoric on the planet. Oh, radiation is everywhere. Yeah, because of Fukushima. And radiation is good for you. These are unbelievable, un un unimaginable lies and uh, manipulations. Now, this first clip, I want to play everybody. Good morning, everybody. Hello, everybody. We've got some crazy show lined up for everybody today. We're just going to jump, bang, pow, boom, rock and roll. Robert Strauss Center, Dr. Frank Von Hippel is pro-nuclear as you get, but he's a lecturer, yeah? And his lecture is not right there. Nobody knows where that went. There she blows. So, I mean, it was partly that they overestimated the growth of electricity uh, demand. Uh, and what happened uh, was, in fact, it was partly due to nuclear power, the high cost of nuclear power. What had been happening was, in fact, the electricity consumption in this country between 1920 and 1970 actually grew about 7% a year. So doubled every 10 years. Uh, but that was much faster than the economy was growing, which was on average growing, doubling every uh, 20 years. And so we, we were getting, the economy was getting more and more electrified. Well, this was possible because the price of electricity was going down. But in the 70s, the price of electricity stopped going down. And, and partly because of the high cost of nuclear reactors, actually. So, so, uh, so that's why, that's, that's, that's uh, one reason why this didn't happen. 
And so we don't, you know, we didn't, and in fact, the, uh, these sodium cooled reactors turned out to be much more expensive than expected. And we're still with the water cooled reactors that they were supposed to replace. So the high cost of nuclear is what drove energy prices through the ceiling. And that legacy is still going strong. Nuclear is a burden to the solar system. Oh yeah, that's right. Now think about canceling construction of Tokyo. A canoe venue would cost 10 billion yens. Well, it's in a highly radioactive area. This is a headline everybody should take notice of right here, right now. Another Fukushima meltdown possible. Now that headline, um, when you went over to it, uh, the server was gone uh, at the man manichi.jp. But it was easy to go out and find the story. Fukushima plant crisis could erupt if water injection stops for 38 hours. Yeah? That's a very important. And then that other one, which was... Um, hang on. That's not the one. So Japan nuclear crisis. I was looking for it. You can see top of the page. Fukushima nuclear plant. Peak oil. Peak oil, rather. Meltdown 38 margin. Uh, 38 hours. It's a plant. This is a Tokyo Electric Power Company talking about unleashing another wave of a cancerous radioactive fallout. Um, resuming water injections, one, two, and three will take three hours at most, the beleaguered utility had said. The cores melted down. Yeah? So it'll rise. Look at the bottom of... Uh, Second sentence will rise about 50 degrees each hour until it hits melting point 2200 hours or 2200 degrees is in about 38 hours. Okay, bear with me. So, how are you going to restore cooling to that uh, reactor for building? Huh? How? How do you restore cooling to that? How is that done? I'm, I'm, I'm confused. How, how are you going to restore power to something that don't exist, right? Do you get it? Do you get to how the law was done? Okay, let's keep going. And so... Like Fukushima, uh, cesium is the tracer. Recent Japan nuclear headlines. So they disappeared. They pulled those headlines from the big media. They didn't put a retraction in the story. They pulled the headlines. They want to go play baseball in a place with 30 million one-ton bags picked up already. The boat race and the canoe race. So let's come over for one second and... Dana, anytime you're ready... They sent the students. This is how crazy they are because they want the Olympics and because the kids and everything else. So in, in order to put out a story, we, now none of the media called them on it. None of the media complained about it. None of the media, all the media said was they had their parents' permission. Like... Not only that, the students now are claiming to be experts, according to the media. So if you drive past an airport, you're a plane expert. If you drive past a farm, you're a farmer. If you drive past a, a marine complex, you should be able to take any ship out on the ocean. What kind of a reality are we in when we send children into a nuclear power plant as melted down? That's emitting gamma shine, alpha, beta, emitting neutron bursts, x-rays. We're talking about something that it is so highly radioactive, 300 miles away. Imagine what it's like when you're there. It's something, these kids are there, but you won't see Harvard. You're not going to see uh, universities like Yale. 
or Berkeley or Stanford or MIT or Oxford. But you see children and homeless. Children. Do you see any workers in any of the footage? There's supposed to be 7,000 people working at the plant. The kids are not taking pictures of the workers. They're not even holding cameras. They don't even know what they're doing. My goodness, what is wrong with people? Why ain't you gone to war for those children? Why ain't you gone to battle for that country? When are you going to gut up? When are you going to man up? When are you going to be somebody? Why are you allowing this? They do it. They're doing it in increments until they normalize it. You can't normalize what happened. We have lost every morsel of emotions. <laughs> yeah. Ricardo, he's not in the radiation experts. He's, he's not even uh, qualifying as human at this stage where he's making decisions to send other people's children in the harm's way. Because what? Because he got a job? Because he's the first president of a sport? It's okay to kill those children in 10 or 20 years with cancers and leukemias and liver and respiratory and pituitary and adrenaline and diabetes, Alzheimer's, dementia. Shows up long before the cancer. But no, he he's... He's the president of something, so therefore, no one will challenge him. That our media won't challenge a word. And think about the institution where he went to. Think about how many presidents and prime ministers came out of that same institution. Think about that history. Knights of Mirror, really? Italian National Olympic Committee. Really? Now you're an expert on radiation. I didn't see you on the bus. But no one called him on it. No one said anything, only that the parents gave him permission for the children to go. And then these idiots with a baseball in their hand are somehow now, oh, well, he scoffed at it. He said he's not worried about it. Worried about what? You should have been worried about it. You cowards. You traitors. You disgusting chicken necks. The nuclear PR firms and the people that are censoring me and attacking me relentlessly to protect the industry and to protect people like that these are monsters you are protecting for paycheck. What kind of creature are you? So the WBSC got to get rid of that president immediately. We're not asking you, we're telling you. Because nobody else will. Not another person on the planet has a set of balls on them. None of the major activists out there will open their pie holes. Yoshi did. Tokyo. Call them up and give them what fur? They got a Twitter? Get in their faces about it. Tell them they're wrong. Tell them they're naive and gullible. Or they're murderers. They can't be one or the other. They're both. So, like, no health benefits? Because somebody that's a president of nothing, of, of a sport, doesn't get challenged. So why do we got media? Why, did, why do your loved ones work for media? Why are you, the children of these people, sitting back and letting your loved ones wreck my planet, our planet, eight million other species? Got more rights than you do. Well, used to. It's a violation of human rights to expose people, but the baseball president said it's okay, Dana. 
No need to get upset, Dana. More radioactive cows. New scandal appears to be much wider. <laughs> 70 kilometers. They're going to be playing baseball. Not 70 kilometers, but right there. So if you go town by town through Fukushima Prefecture, you end up with this. There's so much pressure to not even mention the word radiation that a baseball president is allowed to send children in their harm's way. No one's allowed to call them on it. Because everybody sat on their asses why the Pacific Ocean died and everything else was killed. Fukushima radiation killing children. Heart problems. Leukemia. Thyroid. Authorities are hiding the truth. They're censoring me. There's no one out there on the planet pushing my material out there, which is nothing but facts and documentation. And frustration. We need to admit people are dying, but we're not allowed to say it. No, so we just pretend that a baseball president has a moral compass. You morons. You idiots. You cowards. You traitors. You anti-human fucking pieces of shit. New study on mystery black substances. Plutonium, uranium-236. Curium is the biggest producer of isotopes. Is curium isotopes and their daughters. Did you even look at the buildings? Many young people in the school dying. Big deal. No one cares. Not your child. Fukushima fall out spiked after 3-11, 2013, a year after. Because the chain reaction didn't stop. It's not like a plume came out. I'm so frustrated. It's a disaster of all humanity, the entire friggin' planet. Headline after headline of, of media talking about this. But nobody bothers repeating it in context with another story. They just forget about it like 38 hours after it loses water, it melts down. Forget about those headlines. Take them off the internet and pretend that you're going to have a pension. Pretend that your children are not going to have cancer. Pretend that everything you covered is not going to disappear. Pretend the Pacific Ocean is not dying. This music come fuck down, boy. People just learn the government is a fucking fairy tale. Radiations around Fukushima beyond calculation. Unless you're a baseball player, don't know how to use a calculator. I uh, hit the ball. And that's what I do. I hit the ball. I'm too stupid to think about anything else. I hit balls. I run. People are not stupid. They don't exist just with a baseball. They know better. He's educated. I showed you that. He's not naive. He's got to go. We got to stop being passive. You got to speak out. You only got a voice for so long. Why you even got one? You're not going to use it. Oh, Dana. You do fine, Dana. Yeah. They got me censored to nothing. I got 20,000 subscribers had. They replaced them all with fake accounts and got rid of everybody. That's what's going on. They've been doing this for a couple of years straight. They were doing it when I was on the ocean for 260 days on the expeditions. They've hacked everything I got. They killed nine computers in my first year. This one I got here now is over a year old. How many computers you buy in one year? Nine? You think I don't know what I'm doing? If they return to Fukushima, you end up dying. Polluted. Yeah, how much radi... Like, you ingested. It's not something you wash off. Maybe 10% will come off you. Yeah? The media I'm yelling at today... 
Fukushima mountains are hotly contaminated. Every time it rains, it washes down through the communities again. They picked up 30 million bags of the white ash and everything else that went out through the whole area. Do you think they got any with where close to it all? Get any idea how much is absorbed into the trees and the plants? And wood and steel and cement and pavement? 200 miles to away, not where the baseball is going is insane. They're insane. Do you think 500 trillion beckles a kilogram throughout Tokyo? What do you think the plume went way fuck up near, come down and landed on Tokyo? Came right across the, the prefectures all the way to Tokyo and raided ate the shit out of everything. Fukushima meltdown cover up. AP emits the cover up, and AP keeps it going. Tepco, we lied about the meltdown. It was a cover up. It's a grave issue. But shut your pie hole. Don't you dare speak out, or we'll use sophisticated software to censor you. We'll destroy you. Now, who broke the story on my conviction? The Japan Times. And the Globe and Mail the last time. CBC done interviews with me. Why? So their investors would buy uranium stocks that been going down for six years almost straight. That's all the stocks done. And they keep inflating it. The only opposition they got is the loan... Nuclear proctologist going to bat five days a week at the best he can, but I don't stop. Sharp increase at radiation. A million beckles per cubic meter. It wasn't just under the plant. Hang on. Get back on track here. 50,000 square miles. Baby. You got any idea? Anytime you're ready, Dana. Fukushima plume model showed a million beckles a square meter over the west coast. Five beckles was what Germany was packaging their food and their waste up and putting it on a nuclear site. France was doing it at 17 backwells. That's why France just closed 20 plants and 12 more on the block. Germany's closed them all. Private emails reveal the highest levels of government worried. Nuclear industry tried to bury the truth. They didn't try, they did. It's horrific. Now they're sending children in there because they won't go in there. Harvard's not going to go in there. Yale professors are not going to go in there. Academics and scientists and students. It's despicable. This was a sacrifice is what you're looking at. Ten years time. At best, these children will be devastated. See the child there with, with um, all the pimples on her face? Absorbing radiation through cuts is normal. That's one of the ways it enters your body. But you breathe it in when you're that close, you're getting hit with x-rays and neutrons. You couldn't avoid it. Fuel rods went all over the site. It's despicable. Utter betrayal. Utter betrayal. Media didn't come out. Utter betrayal. All the activists didn't show up. The big shot. Creeps. Traitors. Shocking. It's a shocking betrayal to everybody. Uncontrolled chain reaction, 2015. Drinking water unsafe for infants in Tokyo. Game over. You don't drink it ever again. It's game over. It doesn't clean itself. It doesn't purge itself. It didn't wash away. It's embedded in the entire infrastructure ecosystem itself. It is the ecosystem now. You think this is not going to come back in a few years' time? We're almost six years into it. 
Hang on. Dr. Raymond Gilmetti from Loveless Respiratory Research Institute. What happened? 144 dogs. And starting at the top or the bottom, whatever. All dogs died. Every one of them. Bone tumors, 93. Liver, 46. Liver, lungs, rather than 46. Liver, 20. Tumors were found and, and killed all the dogs. Every study, year after year. Curium isotope is the biggest byproduct. Okay, let's keep going. Otherwise, I'll stay on this subject. Okay, we're almost here. Show's almost over. Hello, everybody out there. France says Japan has lost control. French should leave the friggin' country. Swiss said, friggin' get out of Dodge. Yellow rain. They caught, it was snowing there too, remember? This was March, not spring. <laughs> they blamed it on pollen. Kept secret to avoid panic in the whole of society, except for the baseball players and the children on school buses and anybody there that don't have a moral compass. Compass. Anybody there can make a buck off it. They're not going to panic. They're going to make a buck off it. Or Japan's safety standards and radiation levels Unconscionable, unconscionable for baseball players and humans and animals and insects and flora and flora. Uh, slow it down, Dana. Almost half Japan women tested. So I time one thirty one, ten times more one thirty two, thirty times more one thirty three ionized and radiated thyroid glands, nine times more effective than iodine one thirty one. The reactors run on uranium plutonium, the biggest product is curium. Curium works like plutonium. Plutonium killed all those dogs. <sighs> We'd not be able to live in Japan. <laughs> no. Well when like the insects are disappearing, the, the bacteria is disappearing, the microscopic world is almost gone. Yeah, everything else is to follow. 230,000 backholes, 55 would, would be in the evacuation zone. It's quite a ways away from the plant, you know, this past where they're putting the baseball players. This is insane to send people there to watch baseball. They're insane. To even try to, reha to rehabilitate that area, you can't do it. 30 million bags, prove it. It's the same thing for Seattle. You can't even fix Seattle or North America. You can't fix the death of the Pacific. Two minutes to go. Tea leaves are sucking it up. Everything is. All 10 children test it. Highly radioactive, very high concentrations of hot particles in the Northwest. British Columbia has been wiped out. Wiped out. The tidal zones, we've done the whole coastline. This is the expeditions, 260 days. The coastline was naked. It was naked. Just a couple of algaes left on the right hand is the pictures I took. That's the the pre-Fukushima pictures over there, what it should look like, what it normally looks like, what it had always looked like. It's all friggin' gone. And we can prove it. It's up at the nuclear proctologist.org. Okay, let's come on and say good day, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you, everybody. My apologies for everybody. For not working harder. Where are you two? Hang on. I gotta go that route. Dana, anytime you're ready, Dana. There we go. We're almost there, everybody. Sending children in on school buses is murder. If you murder somebody, shoot somebody and they don't die till later, that's murder. If you commit a crime against somebody and they die later for it, that's a murder. When they died, in the meantime, it's attempted murder. They should all be charged with attempted murder. Hi, everybody.
Thank you once again for finding the time. Just looking for something else to click on. I got no idea where I got everything put, and it doesn't really matter, I guess. And one second, folks. Nobody knows what I got done with that. Hugs for everybody. I'm Dana. Hi, everybody. We got Thomas made a boy. Hi, Thomas. How you doing, bud? You're slowly growing. That's not right. You should be way up there. Hi, Elaine. You're welcome, Crystal. Thank you, Elaine. Debbie, I'm thirst. Hemp. And we got a tight show today. Hello, everybody. Surviving Susan. Brian. We got a strange world we live in. The biggest subject on the planet, most important subject on this planet, the most pressing environmental catastrophic event playing out on this planet is Fukushima. Fukushima is not going to go away. Fukushima is not going to slow down. We, we can't get inside of these reactors for thousands of years to even assess it. We don't have the technology to deal with it. We have the death of the Pacific Ocean, as you see below. We've done the whole coastline. They're censoring me. It's your job to learn. It is your job to educate people. They're going to destroy me. But it is you. It is you that must rule this planet. Hugs for everybody.